Hello Rage Quitters, my name is Terminator UK and today we're back for a performance video review of the Razer Basilisk FPS gaming mouse. Going to see how this particular beast performs in Quake Champions. Prepare your team. So we've got a written review of this particular device but um, in. videos tend to be uh, a better medium to One. test these particular devices. Okay, here we go. A standard affair for Quake, getting all your weapons. So first thing I go for is a railgun. Thought I'd test a bit of precision. So I miss a couple of uh, quite close range easy shots, but then I do actually find my mark. Stick with the rail gun for now. Get a nice close range rail hit there. Our teammates take him out of that corner. Couple of misses take a bit of damage. Now if you watch the um, health packs, you see there the, the mouse wheel glowed up blue because of the um, Razer app integration, Chrome app integration, which is a nice little touch there. When I take in critical damage there, the, the mouth glows red. That's quite cool as well. Again, that's down to the crane wrap um, integration. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work all the time because it's still flashing red even after picking up a couple of um, health packs there. But as you'll see with this mouse, there's some good tracking there. The, the mouse is quite big and cumbersome, but it's good at tracking shots um, where you're keeping your... Uh, Oh, nice little back off there with uh, a try shot to get that frag. Um, you'll see that it's good at tracking targets but not so good at sort of flick shots. So with the rail shots, well, except for that one just there, um, <coughs> I find it much more difficult to acquire my enemies but um, the, the tracking on the sensor is very very good. So things like the um, lining gun and um, things like the shotguns are finding a lot easier to use this particular mouse. <clears throat> See, look, some really good tracking. I don't even manage to secure the kill, but I got a hell of a lot of damage on him. The optical sensor um, makes those small adjustments really, really good to use in comparison to a, a laser sensor. So that's uh, definitely an advantage of using this particular Baslex mouse. Your team has the quad. It's good actually to line up a couple of shots here, get a nice little mid-air shot there. So um, the, the mouse is definitely good at sort of tracking, um, aiming and prediction, but not so good to I'm missing a few shots here where I'm just trying to do flick reactions onto my target. The rear of the device is quite wide and it's quite difficult to grip um, in the heel of your palm if you like to do sort of a claw grip. It's not very good for that, it's much more of a palm grip sort of device. Again, that uh, plays into the hands of whites because it's so good for tracking purposes. Yeah, I'm missing a few shots there, but I do manage to uh, <laughs> miss a further shot. I thought I was going to hit there. Oh, there's a nice duel at this point, so uh, get a nice long range shot there. Don't manage to secure the kill at this point tracking around to try and find that target and the fight breaks out this precipice up here again missed one it's got the second shot there to secure the frag change over to the rocket launcher at this point fire a couple of shots down range but don't get anything there Pick up the heavy armour, always good in this game to keep yourself armoured up to the max. See a guy coming up the uh, slope here, get a nice couple of tracking shots there and the Netmaster reward. Hit him a few times there and just, just secure the flag, frag. You see my last rocket shot there was a tiny bit off, again the, the flick shot just wasn't there when I wanted to do it. <coughs> again a couple of flick shot misses there but I do secure two frags, again the, the um, 
the weight of the mouse uh, is much better for tracking shots and getting things over time but those quick reaction shots not so good I'm finding on this particular mouse. Take a couple of hits. I try and do a reaction shot there. I do get one hit, but they actually managed to secure the kill. We back up after the respawn and grab the lightning gun. Again, you can see the Kramer wrap integration that the mouse wheel changed to kind of like a blue colour when I picked up that particular weapon, which is really cool. Find the target there, and again, see, look, really, really nice tracking there. The weight of the mouse um, really helps in terms of keeping your target. Um, right in your reticule without going off off shot. So you miss a rail shot there, get hit once, return fire and I nearly evaded but just again not quite enough snap reactions to be able to take that target out um, compared to the lightweight diamond there. Uh, sorry diamond really back, razor back, di razor diamond back that I'm used to. A couple of return hits but that that guy, that iron blood, is uh, a much better railer than me in, on this occasion. <coughs> we'll change over to the super shotgun at this point, and a bike breaks out of the on the ramp. Get a nice little uh, point blank uh, award shot there, and a few successive hits. <coughs> Get a nice little frag on the steps. Carry on with the uh, super shotgun for just a while longer. Always find that armor is essential for the super shotgun because you're in such close quarters. I tend not to try and use it when I don't have full armor. Here we go. I'm going for the kill. Get some nice shots there. <coughs> One over on the ramp, which uh, was uh, pretty good. I wish that was my hit, but I think somebody else uh, actually secured that frag. Otherwise, that would have looked absolutely epic. Carry on with the super shotgun. This guy comes over. See, I miss a flick shot and there, only just managed to um, tag his leg. Um, but I do secure the kill in the end. Again, the tracking of this particular mouse is uh, good once you get into the fight. Yeah, there's little tiny uh, precision shots and adjustment to find out too difficult with this mouse. I think it's too big and cumbersome for my liking anyway, uh, for an FPS gaming mouse. But grab the old favourite, the lightning gun. See the mouse wheel change colour again when I grab that? That Chroma app integration is a very, very cool feature. Again, a nice little bit of track in there, get a nice revenge kill. On iron blood. <coughs> My nemesis in this game, by the looks of it. See more nice uh, track in there, get an assisted kill with my teammates. Don't manage to secure a kill, we get a lot of damage down range again. Change over to the rocket launcher. <coughs> the rocket launcher is not too bad for this particular mouse. Um, when you're firing at medium range, it starts getting a bit scrappy at closer range. As you can see, there a couple of couple of misses there. Gets some nice damage in. Unfortunately, bad weapon change at that point. That really didn't help me. I change over to the uh, heavy machine gun here to um, try a bit more of the tracking. As I said, this is really good for this mouse. Um, and you'll see in the uh, footage just coming up, it's uh, it's a, a real pleasure to use this with this uh, particular mouse and I can keep a uh, a target in my reticule for a long time. Here we go, so we've just started the... Uh, uh, hang on, it's not that bit. <laughs> it's this guy, yeah. Just started the engagement this goes on for quite a while, but you can see the number of successive hits I'm landing there until he goes up to the... Uh, goes up on the pad and then maybe it's secure the kill again. Grab the railgun, get a nice hit 
and then this this is quite a nice uh, railgun and rocket launcher exchange of kills and deaths there. We're approaching the end of the round. <coughs> One last hurrah of the uh, super shotgun. Drop down into this cave section here. Try and keep tracking this particular guy, He's jumping all over the place. Hit the pillar instead of him, but I do manage to secure the kill in the end, which is good. That's it, the end of the round. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video view of the Razor Basilisk uh, FPS gaming match. Um, hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching. I've been Terminator UK. See you later.